standing here in the middle of Bristol Motor Speedway with one of my favorite personalities, David Sturmey. You probably didn't know that. No, didn't know that at all. You got fans out there that really like, okay, this is one thing they like, the fact that you race your golf cart. Oh, yeah, well, see, everybody in the coach lot has <laughs> fast golf carts, and now they've gotten into ATV-type golf carts, but um, I swapped my motor out in mine, like, uh, it was two years ago when I was in the Bush Series, and I can actually say I'm the only person that's been docked practice time for my golf cart. When uh, officially from NASCAR? Oh yeah, we were at what? Saint we were at Saint Louis. Reed and I were out messing around. I just gotten done, and uh, we ended up getting docked like 10 minutes of practice because they said I was. What did you do? I was doing donuts in the infield. And there was like no one there, but it was by the helo pad, and they didn't like it. So in your golf cart. Yeah, and we ended up qualifying like fifth or something. So we run, we run really well. Led most laps there. Reed ended up winning the race, and we blew a tire out at the end. So it was fun. Sucks. <laughs> so Montoya is he's getting on to this this NASCAR thing. It's different than Formula One for him. Do you, what would you say to the fans? A lot of people are saying, "Oh, boo, Montoya! Oh, the accent! Oh, you're a foreigner!" What do you say to the fans to combat that? He's um he, he's a true racer. I mean, he fits in. He's um, you know it. I, I thought it'd be a little different coming from Formula One, but he said he, out of six years he spent over there, he spent more time in a day with uh, Reed and myself than he did with his other teammates. So um, he's really down to earth. Like I said, he went out on a golf cart. I mean, it's nothing for him to sign for fans just like myself or Reed or anybody else. But um, I asked him last night when we were out, I said, hey, I said, do they do this over in Formula One, like tailgate and, and you know, camp out? He's like, no way. He says they just show up. So um, it's cool, the fans that we have in the sport, and he realizes that, and um, he's having a lot of fun. Good. Okay, last question. What's something nobody would know about David Strummy until right now? I'm not going to tell you. This freaking segment is brought to you by Lucas Oil. For your commercial heavy duty or racing needs, use Lucas Oil products. Lucas Oil, the official lube of speed freaks.